1789, Benjamin Franklin made the statement that nothing in this world can be certain except death and taxes. I've discovered that neither death nor taxes, and in particularly taxes upon death, are certain. I am examining life insurance and how it, ex and how it relates to taxation principles, especially fairness, simplicity, and efficiency. Of the 147,000 Australians who die each year, most of them want to provide a financial benefit to their spouses, family, and loved ones. But behavioral finance teaches us that these same individuals don't like to consider their death, demise, or mortality until after they turn age 65. The result could mean that their families or loved ones are either destitute or principally reliant upon social assistance benefits for their survival. The government made it mandatory for every employer to provide a minimum level of life insurance for all their employees, either inside super, where the benefits are taxed at zero, 32, or 47%, outside super, where the benefits are taxed at zero, 32, or 47%, or individually owned policies that are tax-free. Which means that these individuals, for the exact same benefit amount, for the exact same life insured, being paid to the exact same beneficiary, have vastly different taxation consequences, which could result in vastly different outcomes to your loved ones, to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars, thus proving that our tax system is neither fair, nor efficient, nor simple, and that taxes are not certain. Now, let's talk about death. Is death certain? Well, the ATO states that if you suffer a terminal medical condition and have less than two years to live, you're entitled to a prepayment of your death benefit from your super fund or your life insurance tax-free. Now, if you suffer a miraculous recovery and survive, not only are you not required to pay the money back, but you don't have to pay tax on that money either. Why? Because the ATO already deems you to be dead for taxation purposes. <laughs> Thus, under tax law, death is not certain either. <laughs> My research basically tries to make a more fair, efficient, and simple taxation of life insurance benefits. So your loved ones get more benefits when they need them most. So the next time you receive your superation benefit statement, I want you to read it closely. Contemplate your own death, demise, and mortality, considering how much that money is going to be going to your loved ones, and realize, as we all know now, that neither death nor taxes are certain. Thank you.